he called me and said, Josh, can I, can I come and just learn from your infinite wisdom when it comes to, uh, be caretaking? Um, you're just, you're just, I saw you catch that swarm and it was swarm. <laughs> In the OG box. What's the OG? The old one. The old one. Original gangster box. <laughs> Okay. What is going on? Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are having a pretty fun day today. Going to have, there hasn't been much fun had yet today, but there's, we're going to have a fun day today. Got the, uh, we're going to be doing a bunch of things today. I say we because there's more than just me. I'll tell you who is joining me in just a minute. But we're getting ready to go do some crappie fishing, uh, followed by some chores up on the ridge uh doing some hive inspections you guys saw me caught, catch those bees last week we're gonna go check on them uh also followed by a uh a little property tour we've got a special guest with us today for all of it um a little tour and walk around the lake and walk around the property and see the barn and see the garden and see where the houses are going to be um and then he's also here to learn a little bit from me on the uh, beehives today. He called me and said, Josh, can I, can I come and just learn from your infinite wisdom when it comes to, uh, be caretaking? Um, you're just, you're just, I saw you catch that swarm and it, swarm, <laughs> swarm. And it was just so, so professional that I would just love some mentorship there. And I said, well, sure. I said, bring your boat and uh mine's not quite ready yet mine's not quite seaworthy it's a it's a it's a good boat but it's just i don't think we want to take it out yet so bring your boat and we'll go try to catch some crappie too and i'll teach you how to crappie fish as well so i'll tell you i'll show you here in a minute who who's joining me today but first this is a little plug and this company by no means needs my plug i am just uh overly impressed with their product I have had these particular sunglasses for uh, years. I don't know, five, six, seven years. I originally bought them from Bass Pro Shops. They are expensive. They were like 250 bucks when I bought them brand new from Bass Pro Shops, even then. Uh, they've pretty much kept that price. They're still uh, a line of, um, and a model of, of sunglass that's still made today, but they are uh, they are still at that same price point as whenever I originally bought them. So I had them for that long. There's some rubber on them, uh, you know, the nose piece and going up the sides and all that stuff. It was deteriorating, falling off, peeling, and some people are going to be like, "Yeah, but why would you even plug a sunglasses that was doing that?" Well, it could have been my fault by leaving them up on the dash of the car and them getting hot and that rubber getting brittle and working in them and all that kind of stuff. So it just it just happened. So they have a, like a repair program that I uh, got online and saw and I checked all the boxes, filled out all the paperwork, sent them to them. And keep in mind, these are like $250 sunglasses. And it only took about two weeks, shipped them to Florida and I got them back. Well... Here they sent them back to me. These are Costa, the Costa brand of sunglasses. These are my fishing glasses, and I ended up using them for everything. But it's the Permit Black with the blue lenses. Um, so I said, that's weird. They sent me a whole new box. It must just be for protection. So whenever I opened up the box, like I'm doing right now, I realize... They tell you to send them like with nothing because they won't guarantee that you'll get anything back. So I realized, oh, well, they sent me a, they sent me a case. I must, they must just really like their sunglasses. They must have been able to fix the rubber on them because the ticket said taken care of on, on their online place. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, 
I'm getting there, I promise. I open up the case and bam. Bam, bam. They sent me, instead of repairing the ones that I had, they sent me a brand new $250 pair of sunglasses. Brand new. With the case, just like in the box, just like I bought them off the shelf. I was like crazy, crazy impressed. I've had, I don't get to go fishing much anymore, so I'm glad I'm doing this today. But I've had these for a couple of months now, maybe longer, and just not had the opportunity to do this video. I knew I wanted to give him a big shout out, so that's what I'm doing. Now, um, so we're gonna, that's it. Costa plug, uh, they're expensive, but you get what you pay for, and the service matches the price point. So um, buy them, buy them today. I promise you, you won't be disappointed, and if you are, they're gonna make it right. So Costa, you know, feel free to use that for what you will. Um, you probably won't, but here we go. We're gonna go introduce you to who we've got today and we're gonna go do some fishing and catch some slabs of crappie and um, just overall give this guy we're with today a little bit of education on bees and fishing and just try to mentor him in life in general. Ladies and gentlemen, our special guest for today. I, I am special. Special, special, special. <laughs> Mr. Taylor from Pure Living for Outdoors. Of course, there'll be a card. Of course, there'll be a link. Go check out his channel. But uh, we're, we're jumping in his boat that's pretty comparable to my boat. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to go do some fishing. See if we can't catch some crappie. You guys have seen this before, but Blackberry Ridge is basically right there. So we're going to go down here, see if he can... Uh, See if we can get on some fish. We need to get Blackberry Ridge to get a ramp. Blackberry Ridge is thinking about a ramp. Yeah. A private ramp. Yeah. Fish numero uno by my guide. He doesn't even let his, his Patreon catch it or reel it up. He just keeps it for himself. I'm going to show you guys what this is, though. This isn't just a regular crappie. It's a magnolia crappie. If you tell by that black line, this one's, this, oh, this wow. one's beautiful. It goes all the way down the fins, all the way up the lip. It's right there on the lip. And then there's another, it comes all the way down. I've never seen one come down the bottom side, but they call this a Magnolia crappie. Oh, wow. Way cool, Bixoma Lake, yeah. number one. Yeah, I don't know what that one would weigh, but uh, we'll weigh it. Sure. That's probably a pound and, I wanna say like 1.3. And you live scoped him, right? Yeah. Let's see where he is. Not really seen a, I haven't really seen a lot of fish yet. Of course, we just got here. Yeah. But this one didn't even think about it. Like when it when I dropped the lure down, it hit it. Like it wasn't even a. It, <laughs> it wasn't even a look and a look, go back and a look. It was like immediate. I see it. I'm eating it. Yeah, there wasn't even a is and or but about it. It was just like, bam, I'm eating it. So yeah, I'm off too. I said one three, barely a pound, 1.1. 1 .1. Yep. So. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Ain't bad. You want to eat them? Yeah. Okay. Apparently. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not gonna set a record. But it's a another ton. crappie. There's a ton of little crappie down here. I'm joining you. <laughs> look at that. If I hold it close to yep. the camera, look how massive, massive crappie. <laughs> yep, I'm done with you. Well, he gets to go live free as soon as he <laughs> figures out what the heck he's doing. I got it. I'll give it to you. Well, we kind of caught three. Taylor landed two. He had another one on. And I got a uh, largemouth bass about, I don't know, five feet from the boat before it 
spit the uh, little crappie jig out, but I guess that doesn't really count. So I guess we really only got two and I got skunked. Such is life, but uh, we're gonna go play on the ridge now. So come on with me. All right, all right, all right. To quote Matthew McConaughey, we are out here getting ready to go work the bees. Taylor's already suited up. I'm getting ready to get mine on. You can see the two hives down there. Uh, like I said in the intro before I was with Taylor, I'm gonna mentor him on these bees and show him show him what he needs to be looking yeah. for when it comes to working bees. No, it's not true. It's the other way around, by the way. So uh, we're gonna go down there and get after that and then we're gonna go check out the property and then uh, I doubt he's had a chance to operate a track hoe. He might wanna operate that big old excavator and uh, we'll play around a little bit. So. We're gonna get after the bees first and we'll be with you whenever we get down there to the boxes. Okay, so Taylor just got the uh, new, these are the new bees. These are the bees that lived with me in my garage for a few days. And uh, the See first it? thing Taylor's doing is looking for the queen. I'm not really looking for the queen yet. Oh, okay. See this, how they're drawing this wax out already? Yep. That's one thing about a swarm. Whenever you catch a swarm, they will draw wax out fast. That queen will be somewhere right in here. Because of the cluster? Yeah. So do you want me to hold that or set it on the ground so you have room to work? Or are you not really worried about that with this one? Oh, goodness. He just got them all stirred up. They'll go back. These won't, shouldn't be a problem. When you get into hives that's like this big, those yeah. are the ones that are... They're a little more cranky. There's more bees. They're more protective. See how oh, much wow. they got drawn out? Well, wait till you flip it over and see the other side. Okay. There she is. Yep. There is the queen that went MIA. <laughs> What's She's her name? An elusive creature. What's going to be her name? You I guys don't know. We got to name her. Yeah. Down in the comment section, name of this queen. But you got to go watch the the catch of this hive to understand how elusive she is. So this is uh that's her. We need to see. Okay, I got eggs. So she's up top now. Let's go. We'll let her back down in there. See if she'll go down. She go over. Or... So I've got a question for you. You wanted me to ask questions, so I've got one for you. Yep. You said we've got eggs. Yep, right here. So what do you what do you see in to see that? Well, that's what I was wanting to. Uh, I'd like to have gotten her off the frame, and I'll shake all these off so you can actually see. Let me uh, see if we can find her again. Maybe she went down. I mean, I can kind of see, I see like what looks like earwax. No, that's not, that's that, that, <clears throat> the stuff that looks like earwax, all that orange. Uh-huh. That's going to be your pollen. Okay. That they're bringing in. And then you see like a shiny, looks like there's uh, that's some honey. clear, that's, that's honey. honey. So, right down in there. See those little dots down in the bottom? Oh, yeah. That's eggs. Oh. See how they're standing upright? Yep. <clears throat> and are they always going to be in empty cells like that? Yeah. Okay. So she's laying pretty good. But no, all that other stuff, that's all pollen. All that orange stuff you're saying is earwax, that's pollen. So basically, this hive's good. I wouldn't even mess with it. You're going to need to get some more sugar water and put on it. That way they'll keep drawing out. They'll keep drawing all these... Oh, okay. I didn't want to make it too easy for them, but I need to make it easy for them, huh? Yeah. Why well, they're trying to get them started, so you want them to... So, all these are going to be empty. Later out, when they, whenever they draw all these, probably these four, you can start taking and putting empty ones. Alternating just... them? Yeah. That way they'll draw them out faster. Okay. Because <clears throat> if they don't, you don't have room for them, then they'll eventually end up swarming again. Mm-hmm. So this one's good. Definitely want to put some paint on it, but 
Yeah, I'll just need to get another box, like you said, and change the frames out and yep. take and paint this one. Should have brought you one. Could have sold you one for 11 bucks. <laughs> I'm good. I'll make it work. <laughs> so they got one B down, one less. Yeah. It stung me in the face. So what, what is this here, Taylor? What is that notch for? Well, they can come in and out here. Oh. If you needed to. Yeah. If something got caught in here, it could still get out. I always leave this whenever I put it on. I, I'll always scoot it as far forward as I can get it. So if they need to, they can come okay. in and out there. Okay, so that is the swarm hive. Well, this is the flow hive, and Taylor's never even been in a flow hive, but um, I haven't either much. <laughs> I don't even know what you're supposed to do with them. I mean, I know how it works. I just don't know. I kind of want to look and see if they're even packing anything down in there. Yeah. Nothing. So you know how the thing works? Yeah, that's a hive beetle. Yeah, I've got a bunch of them. I need to get I need to get Swiffer, your advice on Swiffer, how to take care of those. The Swiffer jet, the Swiffer jets that you you get them at the Dollar General. Yeah. Of course, we're during the coronavirus, so they're probably get, they probably sold out. But yeah. People probably making mask out of them. Uh huh. But just put one of them pads on top. On top. Yep. Just lay it on top. Of both boxes or just yep, just lay it on top. Okay. <clears throat> They'll. Matter of fact, I just put it on top of this. They'll drive them up. They'll run. They'll run the hive beetles up into here, and then they'll run them and they'll trap them in that hive that Swiffer. So are you talking like the static, uh, the Swiffer thing that is just like you throw it away? Yeah. Okay. Just the just the pad. Yeah. All right. One thing that I don't do that you got going on here is you have the. There's not very many bees up here. Yeah. At all. So it's too soon or what? No. The reason is it's because you got this right here on there. Ah. And so you don't use a queen excluder at all? I don't know. But I also don't run a flow hive. And you don't want your queen getting in there. But if you notice, there ain't very many bees. They should be everywhere in that box because I wouldn't be surprised if this one's not ready to swarm because they don't have no room to do anything else. They are upset about that. Yeah, it's trying to stand in front of the hive. There we get. So all the bees that's coming in from foraging mm -hmm. when you're working a hive, if you stand there, they'll, you'll just build a cloud of them up. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't mind having a smoker so we can clean all this bird comb off. Clean the hive up. Yeah. We just smoke them down so I'm not squashing them when I'm scraping them. You mean to go get one? Yeah. Well, hold on. Well, maybe a little bit. We'll just take the frame out. And... So where do you, do you do you think the queen in this one is right in here, or is there too many in this one to make that same assumption? Uh. I don't know. There's so many bees in here. She's not going to be on. These are going to be honey. Yeah. So that's all then. That wasn't a synthetic one. They've. This is all drone. Basically a drone frame. <clears throat> yeah, the bigger the cells are bigger. Yeah. beetle definitely need to get you a swiffer there's a ton of high beetle I see them all in there one right there coming out yeah oh there's some down in here now what are they doing they're just a pest for the bees yeah they're a pest this hive ever gets weak they'll lay their eggs and whenever they have lay their eggs this they'll basically ruin a hive mm. Golly. 
so this frame right here was an original frame that I uh, got as part of the nuke. Oh, really? When I got the... Roar um, gave this to you? Yeah. I'm not big on plastic, but he probably had somebody give it to him. <clears throat> okay, so this is worker brood. See all of it? Yep. Cap. Well, that's worker brood. Are you saying that because it's capped or what? Yep. Well, I mean, it's just, that's worker brood. There's mm -hmm. larva, I think. Queen will be harder to find in here. What color is she, you know? She looked pretty identical to the swarm. She's a, a reddish. See, for some reason, my queens this year, they all basically look like worker bees. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what the deal is. I don't know if they're just virgins and haven't matured yet or what. Trying to look through there to find some eggs. So I think last time I found her, she was on this frame. This is a queen cell. Oh yeah, that built up right there. That's a queen cell. So if your queen's not in here, you're gonna need that. If she is in there, what, does she kill it or what? Yeah, she'll sting it. That or they're getting ready to swarm. Oh, perfect. Because the new queen will take them with her or what? The new queen will take half of the bees and half of the stores. People don't like it. <clears throat> I get a lot of comments. Don't shake the bees. Don't vibrate the bees because bees work off vibration. Well, I work a lot of hives. I don't do small. I'm not doing the small, small scale. So I gotta usually work mine in a hurry. So I just kind of do what do what I do. You know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> bees do work off vibration. Vibration does upset them. So you got larvae in here. I'm just not seeing any eggs, so they may have already swarmed. That may be why you're not getting any bees up in that top box yet. There's larvae in there. You see that white stuff? I'll try to keep it in the sun. There's right yeah, here. Yeah. That's larva. Uh, okay. you have two hives if something ever goes wrong I always recommend getting two hives to start out with because if your queen was to not make it back for some reason mm -hmm. and you don't have any worker brood in here and it goes without eggs or anything for a good two three weeks one of these will start laying actually multiple worker bees will start laying and the only thing they can lay is a drone egg because they're not fertilized mm. And you'll end up with a dead hive. That will end up happening. They won't accept a queen whenever you get you guys to go buy one because yeah. they got a laying worker in here. Uh, that's what I was thinking is could you not just replace the queen? That's a good frame of bees right here. It's kind of weird they've only got one. Queen cell. Well, what is that? That was a queen cell and it's already hatched. So you got a virgin queen somewhere in here. Or she's out on a mating flight. Hopefully she's on a mating flight. 
hopefully she's just looking for a place to lay. So they'll put their <clears throat> pollen and honey on the outsides of the worker brood and they'll have a big it's where they lay their all the brood some frames you'll mm -hmm. see will be nothing but wall to wall worker brood that one's got pollen on its feet yeah i see that that's cool and that's what you're seeing in that hole what you were saying with like earwax mm -hmm. I'm only doing that to clean these off. Normally I just set that back in there. But since we don't have a smoker, we're just smoking down. And the and the importance of cleaning that off every time you're in it is it's easier to work. And do you save this for yourself too, or do you um, do anything with this? I've melt all mine down, yeah. But I got quite a bit of it, you know? And put, melt it down to do what with? I melt it down and I'll... <clears throat> Candles? I, just, I have or... it in big chunks right now, waiting for a project for it. Yeah. So your queen ain't been gone long because there's still larvae in here. Do you think she is gone? Yeah. Not an egg. I haven't found an egg yet. See that vibration? Ooh, they're hitting me right there. That vibration made them mad. If they could sting me right now, they would be. cell that's over here you want to make sure so on the bottom of that one is that just extended comb down there or what that's a queen a queen cell it's another one yeah right there yep right here oh right here yeah on the end see that one right there too there. Yep. Yep. So these girls have strong. That's crazy that there's still this many bees and this is after a swarm. Is that a really bad, is that a bad thing or what? No, it's just gonna set you back. Half the bees left and it's natural. They do it, what happens is they run out of room and they're not going into it, that, so. Yeah, cause last time I worked this, that last frame there and this one were barely started to draw out. And so they've done a bunch of work in, in the three weeks or so that been since I've been in here. There's gonna be lots of bees because there's still lots of worker brood in here at Natch. Still larva. 
cell we looked at that looked like it was pretty far along huh yeah those are those are about ready to hatch yeah they're not happy right now yeah we're, we're probably good you don't have a queen in here there's not a queen in here unless she's over here laying on we'll go ahead and we only got three more frames This is normally though when I'd pack this box up and say, I put it in my notes because I keep a note sheet. Okay. I'd say, check again in seven days. Oh, okay. And I put queenless, check for eggs. These suckers aren't happy, I know that. I guess I probably wouldn't be either if someone tore my house apart. <laughs> They're gonna follow us all the way to the barn. You wanted to Good make a Lord. If you had a wanted to make a split and wanted to make a split, you have you could do that. Would I do that by just putting a new frame take, in there or what? Whole frame in, in it. In the box. You'd have a queen. A queen would be getting ready to emerge. And then I would then half these bees would go to that or what? Well, I just stick like two frames in there and then replace these two frames with other frames. But you'll want to do it pretty quick because these are about to hatch. Okay. But that's honestly that's what I would do. If you wanted another hive, you have everything you need right here. I mean you got another you got plenty of queen cells, so if even if you took the one, at least you could make a mating new. And will the bees stay with her? Yeah. They'll stay with all that because there's worker brood on there. So all these are worker bees. I don't even really know what's going on outside the hive. They're not forge bees. Yeah. Most of them on here were <clears throat> nurse bees. So you could take that whole thing and put it in another box and they'll stay with that. Huh. All that um, worker brood. Some so, of them may come out and come back to this hive, but if it, I, I should have brought you a nuke. I have a bunch of nukes that me and Dutch made. And they have a little turn deal on them. You can lock them up or whatever. Yeah. But those are perfect for starting a hive because they're small. Oh, you're going to see some of my red honey. Oh, yeah? When you flip Somebody that over. Somebody drink the Kool-Aid. Hmm. Where they got that at? I don't know. It's crazy. So I would probably take this frame and another frame. Just take all the bees. You don't have to worry about getting the queen because there ain't no queen in here. She's gone. There's no eggs in here. So. And so you're saying take that frame or the frame you I'd had with the... I'd take this frame right here and that frame. I'd yeah. take both two of those frames and then just... And then I would take... If you go get a new hive... Yeah. I would take... And just take your new frame and stick them between some of these drawn out frames. And they'll have them drawn out before that queen probably even gets... You don't want to check that end one? Ah, no, it's going to be honey. Okay. Okay, well, I got a lot to learn on the bees. Taylor just uh, told me that. Actually, something really cool. Go check out. I'm going to give you just a glimpse of it here, but uh, he went into a little bit more depth on it on his video. We just made it like a... He just showed me how to make a real quick um, nuke because I need to do a split on one of my hives. So we just took some material we had laying around here and just made a real quick nuke. It was, uh, it was pretty cool. He'll go into more depth on that on his video. But uh, well, overall, what do you think of the bee status? I mean, is looks it good. the swarm uh, looks okay? Yeah. And then... The swarm uh, looked really good. The OG bees? I'm not big on the, I'm not the big OG on those, I'm not big on those uh, the honey supers that you got. Oh, I'm the not, flow hives? Yeah, I'm not big on those. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to check them anyway. 
Yeah. So you might as well take it out and spin it. That's the glorious part. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we'll uh, we'll um, we're gonna go tour the property now. We're gonna jump on old cowboy. He's gonna look good in that orange. And uh, we're gonna go. He hasn't seen the property, so we're gonna go tour the property. But real quick, I promise you a little sneak peek. There's a little uh, bee nuke we made. So um, three frame, three frame nuke, because I've got like four frames in my OG hive that's got uh, that's got queen uh, queen, cells. queen cells on. So, anyways, we're gonna go drive around, piddle around, and then we're gonna go eat some lunch. And then before we leave. Before we go to lunch, we gotta go drive around and then he's gotta get in this excavator and uh, let him tear a tree down or something. So we'll uh, we'll be back whenever we jump in the excavator. An army? 70,000 bees in one box. They're not nice. They get courageous, huh? Yeah, so. Taylor thinks there's 30,000 in the, in the OG box. Oh yeah, easy, there's at least 30. In the OG box, what's the OG? The old one. The old one, original gangster box. <laughs> Okay. Well, as you can see, all these rocks and crap. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Dude, these boulders would be awesome in your freaking pond. I know. You could stack them up like that in the bottom of them and like right in the middle. Dude. Let the fish just live in them. Yep. Yep. And then that's the burn stuff I was talking about earlier today. Yeah, you can burn it right now. It's got water all the way around it. Yeah, that's true. We should be burning right now. And then the pool will be right here and kind of like a family pavilion. And then my house will be on the other side of that. Oh, I got you. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Dude, that barn is freaking beautiful. Yeah. I think once we get that garden done and that garden sitting next to the barn will be ridiculous. And then the chicken coop is going, you see those two double gates right there in front? Yeah. That's actually going into the chicken coop area. Okay. So there'll be a chicken house before you ever see the garden. And then after the garden season's done, you just let the chickens loose into the, into the garden and let them do their thing. And then back there where the trampoline is, we're going to build a greenhouse. So make it out of cedar. Yeah. All right, well, between touring the property, but I'm not, I didn't take you guys along for that. You guys have seen that in other videos. Between yeah. beekeeping and making our uh, little nuke, three frame nuke that we did and fishing, I think we're both kind of over it for today. So we've worked up a hunger. Yeah, we're going to go eat lunch, a late lunch. It's like, it's two o'clock right now. So it's yeah. a late lunch. So we're going to get out of here, get Taylor back on the road. He's about an hour and 15 away. Uh, let him get home and I got something by basketball goal too. Uh oh, yeah. The wife, um, my wife wants some, she's been she shoot some hoops. Caitlin's so. been texting all day about uh, little playing a game of horse or pig or something. Yes. So he's got to hit up the Walmart on the way. So we're going to end this video here. Uh, appreciate you guys coming along. Wish we would have caught more fish for you. You got a lot of knowledge on the bees, and um. I wish we could have taken you on the tour, but yeah, I think you just would have been bored to death. So <laughs> yeah, until next time, we won't see Taylor, but you'll see me. We'll see you on the ridge. Up on the ridge. <laughs>